Hi, I'm Romy and welcome to Make Something with Romy. I work in tech startups, but I'm not a coder or a designer. And through this channel, I want to share with you things you can build without knowing either. So what are we doing this week? We are building a system to manage a wedding, my giant Indian wedding. A wedding is five events. For each, you have to do venue, music, decor, photography, stage design. 250 guests at my wedding, plus our families, and of course, the bride and groom. For each guest, you have to coordinate invites, travel, hotel, and gifts. Also, don't forget about the clothes and multiply that by five for each event. Then, of course, the family, there are gifts, travel, and where they'll stay. Lastly, the bride's makeup, jewelry for each event as well. Oh, and did I mention this all has to be managed within a budget? Okay, to be honest, this week, it has been five years since I got married but I still remember how stressful it was for us and our parents. So this week, I'm gonna be using a new tool called Airtable, and I can only describe it as a spreadsheet on steroids. In fact, it combines all the best things of a spreadsheet with the power of a database. So let's get something straight. You can do a lot of things in spreadsheets too, but today I'm focused on showing you additional things in Airtable, which you can't do in spreadsheets. And all these useful features are actually free on Airtable. Let's get into it. So I've already created a wedding planning database. Now, let me tell you how this is organized. It's very similar yet different to spreadsheets that you are used to. So this is a base. It has three tables, one for guest, one for events, and one for the local contact assigned. Also, by the way, you do not need to start from scratch to create a base. For some typical users, you can choose any of these amazing templates. And of course, you always have the option of importing a spreadsheet. I think I had 250 people at my actual wedding, which by the way, is very small compared to a typical big fat Indian wedding. But to keep it simple for this video, I've only added a handful of guests. Okay, so here's the deal. Guests are God at any Indian wedding. They get the full red carpet treatment. So when guests arrive, I have to assign them a local contact. It is expected, so you don't have any grumpy guests. My goal for today's exercise is to show you how we can make the welcome process a total breeze. Okay, that's highly optimistic, but at least it won't be left to one person tearing their hair out. If you look at the guest grid, it looks exactly like a spreadsheet. What we see in front of us is called a grid view. Here is where Airtable beats spreadsheets with its multiple views. Views are just different ways to see and analyze your data. Let's talk about the first really cool thing that stands out right away. You can see actual images within the sheet itself. Here, I have pictures of my guests at attending. This is so visual and really easy for reference. Airtable 1, Spreadsheet 0. Now, some of these columns are fairly straightforward. What I want to do is insert a new column to show which events guests are invited to. And then I can customize this field type. Now, by default, it's a single line text. But what I actually want to do is make it an interlinked field, which means simply have it choose as an input from another table. In this case, I wanted to link from my table events here. Okay, so here are the list of events at my wedding. Now, I'm only showing you three because I don't want your mind to explode with all the events that actually happen in a typical three-day Indian wedding. So for every guest now, I can fill in whichever event I want them to be invited for, like this. Okay, so let's go back to the events tab. Now this grid is automatically filled with a list of guests attending each event. Isn't that so cool? Now, what if I just want to count how many people in each event? I can just go here, add a new field called count. And that's it. It's so simple. This hypothetical wedding looks really manageable. Okay, I'm back to keeping score. Airtable 2, spreadsheets 0. Now, I want you to introduce you to the next view, which is called the form view. For RSVPs, my plan is to send a form to every single guest. They can fill it out and then that data gets automatically filled in the table. I can customize what fields I want to ask my guests to fill out. So for instance, I can keep hidden the fields which are for my internal use like local contact. You can drag and drop to hide fields. It is so convenient. And also I can make some fields required as well. Now, for example, here is what a guest could have filled out. 
When I press submit, back in our grid view, this new row is added for the new guests. I can take care of all the hidden fields at my end, like assign them a local contact to pick up and also update the status of where the arrangements for the guests are at. This is such an easy, smooth workflow. Now, since we're on the topic of views, let's explore a couple more to see what Airtable can do. Okay, so let's go back here and select a new view. This is called the calendar view. I'll select the dates here that need to be visualized. Now I can see when each guest is arriving and leaving. I don't like this color, so I'll quickly customize it here. I can toggle between month, week, three day or one day views here. This three day one probably is the best way to get a good idea of guest travel. And immediately I see a conflict. My parents' oldest friend and one of my neighbors have flights coming in at the same time. They're going to need separate cars, so I must remember to assign them different pickup people, which comes to my favorite tool to help us in this process. Welcome to the Kanban view. Now, a Kanban board, or in our case view, is a visual way to see workflow progress. We can use a Kanban view to easily track guests' travel and pickup in two ways. Let me show you both. First, by the status we used before. The value of this is that I can see cleanly where guests are in the process. So all these people who have booked their travel, I better assign a local contact to pick them up. And these people here who have RSVP'd and not done anything else, I shoot them a friendly reminder to book their travel. Now for the actual assignment of the local contact, let's visualize this data in a Kanban view differently. All right, so now if I go to the local contact table and look at the name field here, you'll notice this field type is a collaborator. Okay, so collaborators are people who share the base with you. I organized my base with each local contact as a collaborator. So they can each log on and will be able to see and manage all guests they're responsible for. Outsourcing work. <laughs> Only way you can keep your sanity in a wedding. So now let's go back and create a new Kanban view again and select collaborators as a field. Now look here, I can actually start assigning folks here. There you go. So let's assign two different people for the neighbor and my parents' friend we saw conflict for in the calendar view. Just like that. Now back at the grid sheet, look, the local contact gets populated automatically. Okay, where were we at the points? Airtable? Oh, forget it. No point keeping score anymore. <laughs> Airtable wins. So there you have it. I wish I had Airtable during my wedding five years ago. It would have really stopped me from going insane. But I hope it helps you now. And do try out Airtable for any other users or projects you may have. And please tell me about your Airtable adventures in the comments below. I'm going to be exploring more of Airtable in the future videos. So please like and subscribe if you want to see more. This is Romy and I hope this week you make something.